How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria tutorial. In this episode I'm going to be sharing with you my rapid goodie bag farm to quickly collect this holiday themed item. So a goodie bag is an item that has a 1 in 80 chance of dropping from any normal mob in Terraria which is 1.25% which is really low. When you right click them it actually gives you a lot of different items so vanity items, uh, range damage items and even pets. So when you right click them, your character turns into Halloween type sort of character. So Gavin is now a witch. Doesn't he look beautiful? <laughs> oh, sorry Gavin. Alright, you can also get a cool pet which is this cat and it has a little wizard hat on and when you fly around it actually flies after you on a broomstick. It is the wickedest pet. I love it. And now it's stuck over there. So Obviously to get all the cool vanity stuff, to get the items and the paintings, you're going to want a farm to do this guys. I've made a really easy farm, it's super quick and it actually earns you a bit of cash too. So let's take a look. And here we are at the beach and we're going to make a nice simple ocean grinder today. So we have a list of all the stuff you'll need. You'll need just some wooden platforms, some jungle grass seeds and just over 100 mud blocks. You don't need a massive amount, a little bit of lava and some bubble blocks which you get from the party girl in hard mode. Now if you want to skip the jungle grass and mud blocks you can use 80 lizard bricks and I'll explain why as we're building the farm. So the first thing you want to do is just start platforming your way out over the ocean and our lovely pet cat here is hoping that we don't go for a swim because cats are known for not liking water too much. But maybe this one does, who knows. Alright, so let's chuck our map out. Up? <laughs> no! <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, poor kitty. Alright, oh, I'm out of uh, platforms. Okay. So you might need a little bit more than 100. <laughs> oh gosh. So what we're looking to do is find roughly the middle of the ocean. So what I generally do is just platform out. You can see the screen stops scrolling. So you know you've uh, reached the edge, so then I usually just head back a little bit and just wait until I can just sort of see the shoreline on my minimap and I know I'm roughly in the middle. The next step is we're actually going to create our little mob trap here. So what you need to do is make like a little bit of a funnel where the mobs are going to get caught inside your trap. And I usually make it about, mm, I think that's about 10 blocks wide roughly. It doesn't have to be super perfect guys, so don't get too, uh, too paranoid about it, but just make sure it's about 10 blocks. Okay, then what you want to do is put your bubble blocks in a little bit of a pattern like that, like a little U smiley face, and put a little bit of lava in there. Beautiful. Alright, the next thing we need to do is change this into an artificial jungle biome, and you do that by planting uh, some jungle grass seeds and just letting it spread throughout the mud. Now you need 80 jungle grass blocks to spawn a special type of mon uh, monster which is called an arapaima. So what you might want to do is make yourself a nice little safety house so your cat doesn't get wet in the rain and you know harpies don't come and kill you. No you should be fine for that. So basically all you might want to do is just make some nice little platforms like this build it up and around and you're just giving your farm some room for all the grass to spread around in there so this way when you plant the seeds they've got room to spread and the little grasses that grow on top count towards the total too so I'm just roughly uh, spreading out the seeds that's just so they uh, grow a bit quicker there we go it's looking like a little alien this thing <laughs> alright I'll get this finished and we'll move on to the next step Okay, so after a little while in game, uh, it's been about a day for me, you'll notice the music will change to the jungle theme, which means you've actually changed the ocean to a jungle biome, which is really cool. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, and I've actually put my bubble blocks a tiny bit high here, is... Oh, Arapamas. <laughs> you can see how quickly the mobs are going to spawn in here. So we're just going to lower this by about one block. Beautiful. And we're just going to put a little platform along here. And the reason for the platform is just to help the mobs get caught up on this trap here. There we go. So let's just find some jellyfish and some arapamas and all that good stuff. There we go. We've almost got it. Lovely. 
and back in the box. Now, obviously, if you haven't got a rod of discord, you can just dig your way in. All right, so we'll put the lava back in the bubble block. And what we're going to do is create an artificial uh, water spot for us up here. So basically in Terraria, mobs will aggro on you even if you're in water. So you don't have to be in the same water as them. As long as you're standing in water, they're going to think, Hey, I need to go and kill that person. So what's going to happen is the mobs are going to come up to our little box and they're actually going to die on the little lava caught in the bubble blocks. And what's going to happen is, any items that drop are going to come up to us. Now, some of you might be thinking, but oh, happy, you know, lava kills items. It kills some items. So, items that are below blue rarity level uh, will be killed by uh, the lava. So, you can see the black ink came up to us because it's blue. It's high, it's, you know, it's blue or higher. So, the cool thing is, goodie bags are orange rarity which means they will not get destroyed by lava. Neither will yo-yos. Uh, so yellets, yo-yos will actually drop in this farm. If you add some ice blocks, we'll get Amarox. Um, so it's really, really cool. And you can see the spawn rate is reasonable, reasonable in this farm. So let's add a water candle uh, to increase the spawn rate further. You could use a battle potion if you wanted. And this is a sort of farm you can just leave running the whole time. So day and night, the spawn rate will be more or less the same. A little bit higher at night, I think. So what I'm going to do now is leave this farm running for a while, and let's see what we get. Alright guys, so we've been running this farm for a while, <laughs> another goodie bag job just then. <laughs> so we've been running this farm for a bit and the time, oh my gosh, two just drops, that's crazy. So basically I've got a loot chest here and when I used to make farms all the time, I'd have a loot chest to show basically what the farm is capable of doing. So I've run this farm for one full Terraria day and as I mentioned, a lot of the items will get burned, although we did get some diving helmets. Uh, we managed one pirate map just jumped up high enough, but the thing I want to point out is we got 23 goodie bags in one Terraria day. And the, the awesome thing about it, as you saw during the sped up segment, is this is completely AFK. So literally, you know, I was just playing on my iPad while this was uh, running, and now we have 23 goodie bags to use. So, look, when you're setting up a farm like this, there's other ways you could do it. I've got some of my summon staffs. Uh, which works as well, but remember the point of this farm was just to get goodie bags really quickly. And the awesome thing about using bubble blocks and lava is it doesn't move, it doesn't change, it literally just acts the same all the time. Whereas occasionally minions can sink, they can float, they can crawl into the box with you. So super easy guys, you need mud, jungle grass, bit of lava, oh so easy. So I definitely recommend this farm. Oh my gosh, guys, and then comes the fun part after you farm lots of goodie bags, opening them up and making loot go everywhere. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, we got vanity stuff all over the place now. <laughs> oh gosh, oh my gosh, guys, thanks so much for watching uh, another Terraria tutorial. And don't forget, if you're trying to farm an item in Terraria, let me know in the comments. I love taking the time to make different farms, and I actually really enjoy the challenge, so. Yeah, if you're having trouble getting a particular item, check my playlist, I might have already done a farm on it. Uh, if it's something I haven't done yet, let me know and I'll look into it for you. I, as I said, I love doing those sorts of things. Alright guys, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Mindflip. And the boss is in an Arnold voice. Pick, up, <laughs> pick that cookie up now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think some of you were telling me that's actually a line from one of his movies, which is cool. <laughs> Thanks, Mind Flip. Our next one is from Samundra B. And I have to say B because I can't pronounce their last name, so I don't want to be rude, so I'm just saying Samundra B. Last <laughs> Mitisina. That's the worst accent. Hagrid voice. You're a wizard, Wolf King. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really do Hagrid's <laughs> accent. <laughs> Thanks, Samandra, that was awesome. Our next one is a birthday message, and it's from Camo Face. And they just said it was their birthday in the comments, so we've got to say happy birthday to you! <laughs> I hope you have a really good day with friends and family, Camo Face. Our next one is from Kirby Corbin. And oh my gosh, this is like two characters. So we've got Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, so it's like. Luke, I have made you cookies. And Luke's like, ooh, yum! And Luke's like, oh, no, I mean, Darth Vader's like, I'm glad you like them. Oh, and I'm your father. Luke's like, oh, no! Because he's got a mouthful of cookies, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Kirby. <laughs> and our next one is from John Smith, who's just joined our channel. So welcome, John. And he's asked me to say in a hushed voice, spoilers. The Titan on the wall is the Cookie Titan. And I think that's a big old reference to Attack on Titan, which is an awesome anime. I love it. Alright guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode. It's like giving me a cookie and it makes me super happy. Keep your comments and suggestions and requests and shoutouts and all that good stuff. Keep them coming in the comments. And thank you to everyone for being so positive and so supportive of each other each and every day. It makes the comments an awesome place to be. And it really makes my job easy too. So thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. Gavin's shooting at it now, and <laughs> you won't be disappointed. We've got lots of different videos on our channel, and I'm sure you'll find something you're interested in. Here's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy. I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days shining now. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000! <laughs>